okay to have the desire of marriage. And it's okay to look at marriage as beautiful. Actually, that's what we encourage on here. Right. But don't be consumed in it that there is nothing more to your life than just daydreaming about marriage 24-7. Right. Beard! What? Yes, these things are all great and God will provide to you the desires of your heart. But it's the beards ain't gonna take you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> You can the height <laughs> ain't gonna take you anywhere. Hi guys, my name is Dretti. And my name is James. And this is... The Authentic Adventist Home. Today we are going to be discussing about the five common mistakes you are making in your single season and how to prevent them. So please stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, as you can tell, we're kind of in a single, we're talking about like singlehood yeah. uh, in this coming upcoming segments. And we hope that you guys are enjoying it. Let us know in the comment section if you're enjoying the topics that we're giving you. And if you'd like to see more, because there's surely going to be more on these topics. So today we're discussing about like the common mistakes, five of the common mistakes that people make in their singlehood and uh how to prevent them you know like i know that there are so many mistakes that we usually make in every season and we want to talk about uh singlehood because it's something as we said in the past video that every one of us if not all of us have to pass through mm -hmm. right so what's the first mistake you would say yeah so the first mistake is viewing singleness or singlehood as one big waiting room you know the way those of you who have used zoom and there's this waiting room <laughs> where you're waiting to get into that main room yeah. where people are there you know sometimes it's easy to end up viewing it as a waiting room and thinking that you know if only i get married oh it's like marriage my, is just a goal in yeah, life and all my problems are going to be solved everything is going to be all right you know this single life is just something that i need to get out of yeah yeah and mm -hmm. and that's that's honestly like a problem because you know like you should not look at marriage like you know thinking of marriage that it will solve all your problems that all of a sudden when i'm married it's like all the problems i have in my life yeah. every problem i have will be solved so marriage is my main goal in life no christ should be your main goal the kingdom of heaven should be your main goal that that's what you're looking forward to and that's because that's the place where there's not gonna be any tears or any sadness or any sorrows or anything but in this life even marriage yes it's beautiful yeah. as we speak we are married mm -hmm. but there are challenges right and it's not going to solve your problems especially like if you have character issues there are some things that you must work on before you get married because me being married is not really going to help me become a new person right. it's just going to reveal who i am right yeah. and i think um i think this issue this mistake is what makes most of us uh, say that i just pray that jesus does not come before i get you know like please jesus I has feel like to wait some so that friends I, are gonna feel attacked in no, no 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 i think i've been yeah. there i've been there i mean we are talking about mistakes that we've most of us have done yeah you know? including us yeah in our single so jesus is our only you know like our only goal and you know even in heaven yeah i mean it will be beautiful because god is there with us true true mm -hmm. true so don't look at um you know uh, single life as though it's a huge waiting room instead use it as an opportunity to work on yourself and to do the right things which i guess will again make a video on what to do when you're single huh? so the next one is becoming consumed with the desire to become married this connects a lot with the first point mm -hmm. like you're just so consumed you daydream of marriage like the, it's okay to have the desire of marriage 
and it's okay to look at marriage as beautiful actually that's what we encourage on here right. but don't be consumed in it that there is nothing more to your life than just daydreaming about marriage 24 7 like mm -hmm. you're just there oh if only i was married if only i was married like yeah and it's so easy <laughs> to you know when we're in that um mode of thinking to yeah. see everyone as a potential partner you know when you yeah. go to church you see this guy or this lady and you're like oh she may be the one yeah he may be the one instead, of, then, instead of serving souls yeah, for the kingdom of the instead lord instead of focusing you know the, <laughs> like uh, seeking if first the kingdom of, of god, god and his righteousness you're seeking a partner you know you're, yeah. you're seeking like you're seeking and yet like this is actually if you if we finish mm -hmm. that bible verse it says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything else shall be yeah. added unto you mm -hmm. for us we are th seeking that everything else instead of, instead seeking, of seeking the provider the provides, yeah. of that everything right. else so seek the provider of those things because it's it's like it's the same thing by the way with materialistic things like mm -hmm. a house a car all these things it's very easy to get consumed in i can't wait to buy my first home i can't wait to do this and you forget seeking the lord right. yet seeking the lord will provide you with all those things and right. we're not speaking as uh what do they call them uh these prosperity preachers that oh god only the only thing he does is to no god is way more than that but he mm -hmm. does provide the desires of your heart yeah so we should make maximum use of a single season yeah. you know, and not really get so much consumed with the next phase of life true right? true yeah yes plan for it plan for it prepare for it and pray about it mm -hmm. but don't be consumed in it and look at singleness as a gift it's a gift just like the way we're blessed every day with the gift of life singleness is also a gift mm -hmm. you know so use that gift to its maximum potential and also focus on self-development you guys i cannot speak yeah. <laughs> i cannot speak enough on that thing of self-development it's like the most important the second most important thing to do well part of self-development is seeking christ so right. you know like building yourself getting to know yourself most of us we don't even know who we are and then we go out there seeking for another person like it's like you going to the store and you don't know what you want yeah. you know all the bad decisions you're gonna make yeah, bad decisions Ooh. and then let's say if you're going on a date and then someone asks you mm -hmm. um where do you see yourself in the next five years what are your goals um i'm not sure i don't know i'm still you know i mean it's this is the time to it's work important on it. to develop yourself yeah. so that you know you, you create this nice package so that you know and god brings that significant other before you before, before you, you you know like it's just amazing yeah and and be occupied mm -hmm. as well as we as we say and we'll keep saying idleness is the devil's workshop so the more you're idle the more you'll just be there like this so find right. things to do whether it be getting a job or um you know like um attending seminars watching constructive uh videos that are going to build you reading books doing activities just find something to do so that your mind is not idle mm -hmm. and actually something i wanted to add, add on self-development is you know working on your character development mm -hmm. and also uh because many of us when we think of the person whom we want we eh, I want this perfect human but for you <laughs> but are you perfect you know you don't want to work on yourself but you're so focused on the other human no mm. focus on yourself in a single season focus on what you need to work on on yourself don't don't put yourself down too much you know don't put yourself down at all but also don't think you're all perfect you know there are some areas you need to work on which deep inside your yeah. heart you know and if you don't know pray for god to show you he will indeed right. so pray for those things and uh, another thing on self-development define yourself in christ and know your self-worth there is a video we did on self-worth which will probably be linked over here so make sure you check out that video <laughs> and define yourself in christ know who you are because you cannot get the mistake many people make especially i'll say ladies and that's why many people well 
uh, a huge percentage of people end up in abusive relationships because mm. you go in you don't know who you are you don't know your self worth you you're just shrinkled up like this someone does something you're right. just like you know and and yet if you knew your worth you'd be like right I am a child of God and there is no way you're doing this mm. to me because you're God's before you are his or hers you know mm. I am God's child before I am his wife and so if I know that I'm God's child a princess in the kingdom of God how dare mm. how dare you you know oh, don't go with that attitude but you guys get what I mean so um mm. yeah so 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 please define yourself in Christ don't define yourself in the world because there are so many lies in this world and they will always keep being trends in and out and the devil will try to deceive but God always has the truth and the word of god stands forever so define yourself in christ amen another mistake that most people do in their single season is despising that season no wonder the bible said in first timothy chapter 4 verse 12 this is uh, the apostle paul who was writing a letter to timothy and he says let no one despise your youth amen but be an example to the believers in the world in conduct in love in spirit in faith in purity and that is just singleness yeah so okay it can apply after singleness but it, it right. has it has it also applies hugely to singleness like in yeah. faith in spirit in love in conduct in purity mm -hmm. let know? no one despise that season and look at you and ask you when are you getting married? You know, there are all these questions that people ask. So you should not feel like... When someone asks you when are you getting married, say in God's timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Like, because you don't know, I don't know, bro. It's not like we, we can give time limits to when what will happen. We don't right. know. We don't. We, tomorrow is not even promised to us. It's just by the grace of God. So, yeah. be, like... Believe in the word of God and don't despise your single season. I know the world has made it in such a way that singleness has been despised a lot. It's mm. like, especially for ladies, your age is running time. Make it's sure you get married. Girl. It's as if you're the one who goes and I don't know. You should tell them even Sarah got a child. You know, God can, when he, he, like when you go according to God's timing, it doesn't matter what age. You know, if God says age is just a time, number to him. Yeah. yeah. So the single season is such a blessing, and you should use it for the glory of God. Amen. You know? Amen. Yeah. Uh, and also, you know, um, the other big mistake that people make is failing to invest in this season to develop yourself, which is, I guess, what we spoke of mm -hmm. the other time. Mm -hmm. You know, like you just think of this time ah, self-pity and all these things and then you fail to invest in yourself take this opportunity invest in yourself and when we say invest in yourself we don't necessarily mean money wise right. yes you could do financial goals and those things as well which is great um but then character mm -hmm. personality get to know yourself get to know who you are get to know who god thinks of you build your confidence build you know build these things that will last you forever because if you're confident if you are if you know that you're beautifully and wonderfully made if you know all these things no no guy or lady is just gonna come and joke joke around with you you know so yep. yeah yep and also uh the final thing is you know the final mistake and not, we know there are many more mm. but it's not taking the time to sit down and you know list the attributes you would wish to have um, from the significant other mm -hmm. right because this is something many people neglect right yeah because if you don't sit down and uh, ask yourself or write a list of things that you would wish to have in the other person then um you will not even as we say to develop yourself yeah right? yeah it, like th this goes many ways right yeah. it's like going to the grocery store without a shopping list and you just go around thinking ah me i know what i want right. yeah, la, la, la. <laughs> instead take the time read the word of god immerse yourself build your relationship with him and he will let you know like th when you know who christ is you will want for the ladies you will want a man who is like christ mm -hmm. who represents christ 
right and so you will you will now write a list because it's it's also easy to write a list when when you don't like when you're of the world and you don't really know you know and then you just write tall handsome right beard what? yes these things are all great and god will provide to you the desires of your heart but it's the beards ain't gonna take you anywhere <laughs> You can the height <laughs> ain't gonna take you anywhere, you know? Yeah. The things that are going to take you places is that person's character and above all working on your own character so that you attract the right character, right? right. So because there is no way like I see you as A B C D, like you're this Christ like man and, and I'm anyhow as a lady and then I just come. Like yeah. I won't be attracted to you. Yeah. I'll be attracted to my people, right. you know. So take time to develop yourself. Take time to grow yourself so that the right people are attracted to you. Mm -hmm. And I was also saying, so this this can go both ways of um, not taking the time to assess the desires. You know, it can be like going to the grocery store and you don't know what you want. Right. And it can also be that you go and you get the wrong things. You know, so mm. so so learn like know what what you actually want write down the list and pray over that list fast over it pray for your future husband pray for your future wife because right. you never know what they're going through in their life mm. yeah is there anything you wanted to add to this no there are so many mistakes you can make but um i mean these are some of you know the few that we found that you know like they kind of we have seen yeah and some of them applied to us so and we want you to learn from the same experience that yeah. we had you know don't learn from your own mistakes um just remember that god created you for a purpose and he's putting you in this season for a very good reason True. and the main thing is to give glory to him Amen. Uh, the perfect time he's going to bring that wonderful person after he has finished working on you and working on that other person so that when you meet you're going to to make a very powerful couple like yeah. me and my wife over here right? <laughs> yes yeah. so we hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thank you babe for being here next to me and uh, it's such a pleasure honestly sharing with you guys all these things these are things that we wish we had and yeah. these are topics that we wish were discussed more and if you have any more topics you'd like us to discuss there is a lot we have uh, gotten from several people and that's what we're going through but if you have any more topics drop it in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel for more wonderful content on relationships marriage homemaking and probably parenthood in the future all, right. all these things everything to do with the home adventist home we are here to share it in an authentic way mm -hmm. and we hope god blesses you till next time bye bye, bye.